Hello people and welcome to follow internet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build in the cloud with an Azure free account. First thing is that you need to create your free account. Click on start free. If you have any problem, you can check out our playlist how to create free account. After that, come into this video and click on sign in. Now we are redirect Azure portal. This amount of credit that I get from Microsoft Azure, when you create your free account, you will be also getting this amount. You can take it from your notification. Whatever in this video, I am going to create 1024 gigabyte SSD memory with Windows operating system where you can play high performance games from your low end PC. Just open this URL portal.azure.com after coming this dashboard. Click on virtual machines under Azure service. After coming this pop up, click on create. Here, Azure virtual machine, click on it. It will redirect. Now, after redirect this, create a virtual machine page, subscription. Remember, this is coming from free trial. A little scroll down here, instance details. It will take your virtual machine name that you can name anything. In my case, Numan Windows resource group that will comes with our virtual machine name this is automatically created from azure also you can create for yourself this is pretty much good for me you follow this way now scroll down here security type click on it standard image that we want to choose Windows 10, you can scroll down, also you can see here that you want to need, in my case, I want to go with Windows 11 Pro, click on it, now here size, this size is not available in June 1, so we need to change June's scroll up. Here, instance details, availability zone, click on it, uncheck June 1, and you can check June 2. Now scroll down. Here, size, this is also free service eligible. And this is now pretty much okay. Now scroll down. Administrator account, it will take your username and password. In my case, my username Numan. And you need to provide password. Confirm your password. Scroll down under inbound port rules. Select inbound ports that are very important. Check HTTP, HTTPS, HSAs. Now scroll down under licensing. You need to confirm it. 
that click on next disk scroll down here you can see create and attach a new disk click on it here size this is 124 gigabyte that comes with default we need it so we don't need to change size but if you want to change your size you can change it click on it you can change it but i don't need to change so click on ok here you can see our ssd card are already attached now after getting this click on next networking we don't need to change anything inside networking it will come with default click on next management management it will come with default click on next click on next advanced it's pretty much done click on next we don't need to change anything just click on next validation passed now click on create top of the bottom left corner click on it top of the bottom right corner you can see notification submitting deployment it will take a few minutes our deployment is in progress just wait a few our deployment success now click on go to resource click on it click on connect scroll down native rdp select click on it after validating okay configured now scroll down download rdp file click on it now twin folder click on it this is our rdp that we are download now we are going to open click on it we can close this take it connect
click on more choice use a different account username here you can see username that i give numan and create rdp and you need to provide your password click on remember me okay after getting this pop up check it yes we are successfully run windows 11 operating system on our azure portal after getting this pop up click on next next accept click on it welcome to windows 11 operating system now click on welcome to windows you can close Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about Windows 11 operating system, how to speed up, you can check out our playlist. Thank you for watching this video.